Hello everyone, so I am back for another metting video and today I'm gonna try to maximize the way of getting full moon swords. I think I figured out the best way possible. So what I've done is I've come up with a new strategy which allows me to kill the most amount of specialist and archer that I possibly can think of. So what I've done is that I've used the same account, made five like identical uh, characters each, uh, and I've placed them on the spawn points of the specialist and archers around the entire Metin world. So when I kill one, I can just swap my character and kill on the next spot and then swap again, kill on the next spot. And one good thing about this is that uh, the double drop from the item shop actually affects all the characters for, for the same account. So I don't need to buy double drop for all characters, I just need to buy for one character and I get for all five characters. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you the six different spawn points for the specialist and the archer that you can kill on. Another good thing about this is that you don't actually need good equipment, like plus four armor, plus four weapon, and you're good to go. Okay, so here's the first spot, right here. So red color for specialist. So here, it's actually one of the best places and Therefore, it's also the most competitive place. A lot of players are here farming. Okay, so here we have the second spot. It's just outside, you know, portal. And blue color for the archer. It's around here, around here, the, uh, the entrance. And a bit toward this way. Okay, and as you can see, here is uh, another place in Valley. It's here, on this little island. We are in Yino map 2. And here we can find both the specialist and the archer. So this this place is quite... Mm, I, I don't choose this place actually because there's so much other players here, the most competition. So there's very often that you can't find them because someone has killed them and that's a waste of time. Okay, so now I'm in Shinso map 2. So this place is quite good because there are no other players here farming. So you'll know for sure that they are here somewhere. Uh, but the archer and specialist can sometimes be pretty far away from each other. So it's good to have a farmer with either a horse or some good running boots or running armor. Okay, here we are at the last place, I think. So it's in Shunyu, map 2. And here you also can find both an archer and a specialist. And same thing here as well, they can be a little bit spread out, but as long as you got a character with a horse or a good running armor, you'll be good. Okay, so there we have it. We have five spots for our five characters that we're just gonna place there and just log in and change character, change character and kill and kill and kill as much as we can to see how many, F, uh, how many full moon swords we can get. Also what I'm going to try out is to try out to kill like a hundred of them without a double drop. And I'm gonna do the same thing, but with a double drop afterwards to see how big the difference is on uh, Full Moon Sword and this uh, Specialist and Archer. Okay, so let's begin. I'll begin first by killing 100 without the double drop, and I'll show you all the times where I got an actual drop. So here's the result from after killing 100 archers and specialists in total. One FMS and one hornbow on this character. And on this character just one more FMS and two more hornbows. So in total two FMS and three hornbows from 100 without double drop. So now let's do the same but with the double drop from the item shop. Here we go.
Okay, so the results for in total killing 200 Besticle Specialist and Besticle Archer. Uh, the first 100 without double drop and the latter 100 with double drop. So these are the results. So I managed to kill 46 of them in one hour, which is pretty good in my opinion. So that's very time efficient and that's just what we're looking for. But the best thing is that for me to kill all the monsters for every character or on all the channels, which is 15 monsters, it takes me 17 minutes and 30 seconds, which is enough time to make the first monster that I kill respawn again. So I can just go back uh, to my first character on the first channel and start killing again again. There is no, do there is no down time where I have to wait for them to respawn which is the best part, that makes it the most time efficient. But the results were kind of weird, because without double drop I managed to get two full, moon sword, uh, two full moon swords and three horn bows, but I got the same result for when I had double drop, so two full moon swords and three horn bows as well, which is kind of weird in my opinion. Maybe most of my characters was too low level to get the good drop, but I still think it should make a difference to have the double drop and get a better drop. Droppy 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 drop. But yeah, I don't know. But well, I only killed 200. Maybe I need to kill more to get a better view. I don't know. Oh well. Those are the results. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.